jump number four. So uh, while I was going back to work, I started to think it looks like the same old hard work again. And then I saw three crows showing evil intent. As a child, I was taught crows are messengers, and they like to hang around death. So in a rehab, in the middle of a pandemic, is not a good thing. I remember, Yah, your words of hope of number eight, New Beginnings. So I got out of my car, that hot car, on foot, and I drove them crows out. If looking in the natural, it would look like mighty strange of a woman wearing a hat with a scarf, taking her scarf and yelling at these crows to leave my rehab in obedience. For prayer, I prayed first before any action was done. For there was no impossible with God. We move in faith. So back to that hard car, getting my thoughts before starting work. I know a noisy crows are flying over my head. Yep, they flew back just to test this moment. So I told them to just keep flying. Keep flying on. There's no place for you here. And before I can get those words out of my mouth, a hawk flew with his claws out, diving at that first crow. It was an entire show just for me, a mid-air battle. And then came a second crow on that hawk. So here you are. You got a hawk diving in, going after one crow. So the other crow comes in and tries a double team on the hawk. It was getting interesting as the entire battle moved higher and higher up and then came a second hawk it was game over the crows knew defeat and took off no blood no dead birds just that the crows knew it was time to move on as all like always we stand in obedience and we allow God to move ahead and God wins and yes he gets all the glory so, success. And how do we find it? A.K.A. the Bible. Yep, it's the same book. Many had threw out, calling it a fairy tale. Or a book of outdated laws. Well, it is for this time we need this old book. Blow the dust off and dig in. Joshua was just handed over to him a band of unruly, new generation of kids that saw the miracle of God. Now they're all grown up with the Jordan River to be crossed. That's Joshua 1.1. 1, 1. Now after the servant Moses died, the Lord spoke to Joshua, Go rise, move my servant. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now go therefore over the Jordan. Thou and all this people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your feet walk, that's right, where they walk on, I had given it unto you, as I said to Moses, I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. So Joshua had these promises. Would God not do this for you? God says, Be strong and be of good courage, for unto these people you shall divide for an inheritance of the land. Here's an important part of that promise of Joshua 1, 7 and 8. Only be strong and be very courageous, that you may observe and do accordingly to all the law which Moses command, turn not left nor right, for you will prosper wherever you go. The book of the law out of your mouth meditated day and night, so that you will observe and follow to do according to all that is written therein. So pros prosperity, be prosperous, and good success. So, you saw the law that this was Old Testament. So here is Yeshua Jesus. By his blood, 
covers the law. So it is then it can be written on our hearts with love. And that's Matthew 5. Jesus said, I am. I have not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill. Until heaven and earth pass away, not one dot nor tittle shall no wise pass from the law until it's fulfilled. Jesus, our Yeshua, fulfilled by his blood. Now we look deeper. He simply shows love, as in Matthew 5, 43-48. Ye have heard that it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemy. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. Pray for them that despisely uses you and persecutes you. Yes, we pray for the sun rises and falls on both the good and the evil alike. And God also sends rain on both the just and the unjust. God and the world watches our behavior. Your prayers and being good can change the world. 